Uh, this is Philip Grunvold. I am a product manager for Opera Software. Uh, working in our product group, I'm here to show you Opera Mobile 11 running on Android. Actually, here is uh, Opera Mobile 11. This can be found in the Android market. It's available for Android uh, phones as well as Android tablets. Uh, this is running on Android 2.3 Gingerbread, uh, latest 2.3.3 uh, edition. Uh, but it does support down to Android 1.6 and, uh, as I said, up to Android 3.0 for those tablets. But we'll go ahead and do a quick uh, show of what is new in Opera. First, you'll notice that there is actually a new UI. Um, there is less red um, uh, for, for our end users. And the new UI is the same UI I find across many of our different platforms. What we'll uh, go ahead and show is uh, I'll load a web page here. But I wanted to show off first our, our newest feature, which is our share functionality, built right into the Android platform. And here we have a share button in our menu. When you click share, it will bring up the applications that are on the Android device uh, that you can share with. If you have other applications, other clients for, for maybe uh, email or Twitter or uh, social networking, these would show up here. So that was our share functionality. Also new inside of Opera uh, Mobile 11 is a uh, functionality um, uh, called text wrapping um, and a few other things that you'll see just in a moment. But let's go ahead and zoom in to a web page. You'll first notice uh, when working with Opera Mobile that we've actually now changed to a double tap approach. And you'll see here that the text has been wrapped just as you'll see on the native browser. Uh, when you wrap in. So we'll go ahead and open up a website. Here's an article. Now we have uh, smooth scrolling, we like to say ultra smooth scrolling in Opera Mobile 11, um, as well as very smooth zooming. And here you saw the text wrap. Unique to Opera though is that any level of zooming you'll have text wrapping. This way, whatever level or whatever size of the font that is best for you, you'll be able to see. Here's a great example of our built-in flash support. By default, we have what is called click to play. This means that uh, by default, flash is not shown. And if you would like to see this element, maybe it's a video, um, you can go ahead and press play. And the video will start to show. I think possibly my favorite feature of the Opera 11 that I've seen before is uh, when you click on a link and there's possibly two links and you kind of, uh, you kind of ask me or the, uh, the software asks me, uh, did I really mean this link or this link? <laughs> we'll go ahead and show that example yeah. <laughs> here. Here are four links. Um, many times on a modern smartphone, um, you, you can see the links but it's pretty hard to click and so we have a new functionality so that um, if the user clicks on multiple links or if it's unsure, uh, maybe you clicked in between two links, we'll actually zoom into that area and say, did you mean one of those two and allow you to go ahead and, and click in. Let me show you that again here. So if I click once on text, nothing will happen. But if I click once on a link, uh, I will go directly to that link. But here it didn't know, did you mean one of these two? And so it zoomed into that area. There's another, I guess, last feature that is really unique here inside of Opera, and that's when you're reading an article. You get to the bottom of the web page, and you want to go to the top again. Some platforms has a quick jump uh, to the top, but on Android here, we have the notification bar. So instead, Opera has uh, put in a new UI feature, which is a little button that appears when you try to scroll quickly. And I'll go right to the top. Same as when you go down in case you have a really long article that you want to get to the top or to the bottom. These are some of the new functions found in Opera Mobile 11. Um, I guess the uh, point of Opera Mobile 11 is that it's available now on Android, Symbian, um, and a few other platforms. But the ultra smooth user experience, we are looking forward to users trying themselves and really comparing it to the other browsers that they have grown to love on the Android platform. 
wonderful platform Android that we all get to compete and show the best products that we have in the browser space. And what about hardware acceleration? There is no hardware acceleration inside of Opera Mobile 11. Opera has committed to bringing hardware acceleration to Opera Mobile. It is interesting that many people feel that we have hardware acceleration. It's probably because of how smooth the user experience is, but there is actually no hardware acceleration. So look forward to seeing that in the future coming out of Opera. Okay, perfect. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Absolutely.